The newest Buckeye, Aaron Scott. Uh, that sound you just heard was the sigh of relief of Ohio State fans across, across mm -hmm. the nation. Yeah. You made them sweat a little bit. Um, how difficult was this for you? And, you know, if you, while a lot of people kind of had you picked Ohio State, I think a lot of people were maybe second guessing those predictions down the stretch. How much of that was misdirection on your parts to kind of have your moment? And how much that was legitimate, like looking at Oregon and Michigan? It was all legit. I feel like Oregon is my dream school. In Michigan, it was really. It really came down. I didn't know I was going to Ohio State till this morning, actually. Like, I've been going back and forth, and everything I was saying on social media was real. I was really going through it, not knowing I had to take time for social media because I was so confused. But I feel like I sat down this morning, talking to like an extra couple players, and I just came to the decision that it's where I need to be. How many people knew it was Ohio State when you went up to that podium today? Just my mom and dad. I ain't tell no coaches because I didn't know if I was going to be going here. Like, I, I tell them, like, I made my decision when I was standing up there. Yeah. How, I guess, what does it mean to you as, as now, you know, grew up 45 minutes from Columbus, if that, um, you're, you're going to basically stay home. I mean, mm -hmm. Columbus is the, the closest major city to you. Um, how much of that was a factor, or was it not? Was it was it more just kind of other their pitches and kind of what they were telling you about? I feel like the pitches that was hitting me with, especially like being from Ohio and the endless opportunities you can get, and uh, I don't, I didn't think the distance played a played a part for real. Cause my flame is gonna be there regardless. But being closer to home do make it easier for them to get there. Were they happy with your? Yeah, yeah. They, decision? they was cool with any of my decisions for real. They went to Oregon. At first they wasn't rocking with it, but then it was like they started liking. It, so it was all cool. <laughs> uh, what is Ohio State telling? You? I know playing early has been important mm -hmm. to you. You want to get out there mm -hmm. earlier, competitive guy. What, what have they kind of told you about like your path to the field? Because I think they did clear that up with you. Mm -hmm. I think because that was, I know that was a, a thing for you kind of on official visits yeah. is kind of looking at, you know, how am I going to be able to make an impact early? What have they told you about that? And obviously got to do the work, but, you know, what have they told you about getting out there early? Uh, they let me know, like, ain't going to be easy, but, like, I told them I'm going to come in and work for the position. I really ain't talked too much about the death try. Before I was thinking about that, but I'm like, why well, is the easy route? You know, if you're going you to play with big dogs, you got to you know, <laughs> fit in at first. So I told them I'll take it day by day. I'm going to show them that I could play my freshman year, and we're going to go from there. Bryce West and you, uh, it, it's, you know, I've kind of been telling people it, it's, you guys are important because you guys are two of the top prospects in Ohio, but it was important for Ohio State to take advantage of having two of the nation's best corners right in their backyard. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen every yeah. year for them. How much of that was a positive for you having Bryce in the same class and, and him kind of starting it off with committing and, and working you? I thought he played a big, I played, he played a big part of my decision. I'm like, we've been talking about it since before we all committed. I was like, we need to team up. And he took that route. So I'm like, damn, I want you to come to a different school wherever I go to. But like, based on the decision and him being there just made it even easier for me to want to go there. We got to talk about the whole like thing in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, we all, we all got pushed out of here. <laughs> just yeah. smoked up the whole place. But who who did the smoke thing? Like, whose idea was that? And whose idea was like the bags? Like, who, who planned the, the, all this? The bag, it was very elaborate. It, it was all my mother's idea. It was my mother's idea. She was, she didn't know. Cause we, we didn't want to just do the hat. We were trying to get creative. We were trying to get a mascot, but we couldn't get in the time. So we just went with the bags. And then she wanted to do the smoke. So I'm like, we're just going to go with it. What do you think Ryan Day was thinking when it was just the Michigan bag on the table? <laughs> it's probably, probably Saudi, probably on his crane. No, nah, I didn't take that route. Just hoping. But I told him, like, he, he let me know everything until he got my word. I mean, you know, him and Coach Mick are probably going to get their revenge for that at some mm -hmm. point. You know, you're, you know, you're getting there in January. You might have to, you might have to do some extra running from that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah, might yeah, be a, yeah that probably. Might be a thing. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as you know, your senior season's right around the corner, so I know you were trying to get this over with before then. Mm -hmm. what, what are some of your goals for your senior year now that you're committed and you can kind of put all that in the past? What are you, what are you hoping to accomplish this year? You guys have been in the state mm -hmm. championship for two years in a row. Um, just things that you're trying to accomplish individually and, and just uh, team-wise to have this senior season you want to have. My main goal is to win state. Like we got a team, we got like a young, young offensive line, but the secondary is kind of old. But really, just coming in, I'm trying to like, get as many interceptions as I can can get. I'm trying to go for ten this year. Half five last year, I'm trying to go for ten this year, and be a leader on the team and make everybody else better. Yeah, I'm talking about Coach Douglas, uh, kind of wanting you to play corner a few mm -hmm. years ago. You wanted to play quarterback. Yeah. What all went into that conversation, and, and how happy are you that you decided to kind of make that mature decision and, and make that position change? I'm very happy. I'm blessed that Coach Doug told me, like, he didn't have me just waiting around, being on the sideline, telling me to get on the field, play some varsity, because I hated watching. 
She was like, you, I said, you're going to fail and get paid, so that's why I took that route. And then, of course, Coach Walton uh, was a big part. He was he was at the school as much as he was allowed to be. How How is that relationship? How key was that to your decision? Oh, uh, repeat that question. Coach Walton, your oh, relationship Coach with Walton. Coach Walton, oh, yeah, how yeah. key was that to your decision? That's my dog. He got, he got experience. He coached Jalen Ramsey. He coached big players and started in the league. And he just, the main thing about him, he, he talked about stuff outside of football. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't just all about football. And I feel like he got me and my family feel comfortable with him, so it made me feel comfortable with him. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you get out of here. We've got a big day here. Let you get back to your family and friends. Congratulations, yep. and I'm sure we'll be out to a game here soon to watch you. Yep, thank you. All right, thanks, man. Yes, sir. Yep.